uh, uh, third generation gigabit LTE modem that we have, that's the X24. Uh, as you've seen in, um, in the search presentation, it's actually represented several first. The first one is actually it's the first LTE Cat20 modem that supports a blazing speed of 2 gigabit per second. So that is kind of laying a very strong foundation in LTE to support the coming of 5G in 2019. The second one is uh, the first 7 nanometer chip ever. So that is the most advanced uh, commercially available silicon manufacturing process. So what that gives, um, um, it's first it's a power efficient chip. Also it's actually provide valuable board, speed, uh, board space for the OEM. So they can use that for maybe um, a, and, and a larger battery or maybe a sleeker design for the phone. So that's another benefit that we're providing for the 7 nanometer. Uh, third, it's the first announced uh, chip, LTE chip, that supports 7 carrier aggregation. And also it's the first that supports 4x4 MIMO on 5 simultaneous carrier. So we can achieve up to, um, we have 20 LTE data streams simultaneously. So what does that mean? We literally are closer than ever to the 5G. So we um, LTE and 5G will actually coexist together at the very beginning. And you can, um, a user may fall back actually from the 5G when they go out of 5G service into the LTE. And we need a high speed uh, coverage layer uh, for the LTE with S with the Snapdragon X24. So providing two gigabit per second, that is very comparable to the five gigabit per second that we see in the 5G. Another another benefit, of course, is the improved capacity for our network uh, and also the improved. Um, Yes, real world that, yes. speed so, that so users would get. So a lot of people would say, uh, I'm not going to see this in the field. And that's true, you're not going to see 2 gigabit per second in your phone. However, there is a, a direct relationship between the peak speed and um, the average uh, real world speed that you can see. So in our X16, where we're able actually to get 1 gigabit per second, uh, our simulation showed that typically you would see in the field between 100 megabit per second all the way to 300 megabit per second. Now, with, uh, we're doing simulation with the X24, we see that bump up to 200 megabit per second into um, uh, 600 megabit per second. So now we're solid into the multiple hundred uh, megabit per second for our user. So this will open the door for a lot of uh, uh, new applications. Uh, think of it as um, uh, immersive gaming or uh, the, uh, six DOF uh, VR or maybe enhance uh, user experience in downloading movies. Downloading a movie like 4K or higher resolution, you can download that in a few seconds. Uh, so so this is what we're gonna show actually. So you've seen it now. Um, we're having that technology advanced in the cellular and also in the silicon as well. So that's our internal uh, testing unit. In it we have the, Snapdrag uh, the Snapdragon X24. It's cabled up to the base station. We show um, five carriers on band three, seven, and one. Each of them supports 4x4 layer, 4x4 uh, four four, I'm sorry, and 256 one. So each layer can uh, provide up to 100 megabit per second. We have 20 layers, so that gives us the 2 gigabit per second. So this is a kind of a remarkable milestone, but this is not the only impressive feature that we have for the X24. Uh, another thing that I want to really highlight, and actually it's shown up in, in search presentation, is the spectrum flexibility that we add with the 7 carrier aggregation. Uh, so like um, uh, think of one operator that have a lot of fragmented spectrum so now they can actually aggregate that and utilize a lot of improving capacity and user experience so they can aggregate over carriers another operator that is fully using their spectrum but now they can actually aggregate over uh, MIMO streams so they can let's say that they're using um, uh, four, four uh, 20 megahertz they're capped up to X20, they're capped to 12 uh, uh, layers. Now they can go from 12 to 16 on the same spectrum. So that's bumping the speed from 1.2 gigabit per second into 1.6. Another operator, they don't have the spectrum, now they can tap into the unlicensed so and get into the 2 gigabit per second. So this will really uh, expand the footprint of the gigabit per, uh, uh, gigabit uh, LTE network and that will help uh, for the 5G and operator plans for transition to the 5G.